every idea which was considered as the greatest philosophy as the means of moksha that idea was simplified and weaved into what we call cultural practices and tradition and that's the place where most of us aren't looking because we think that's just about faith but through my work my first introduction to indian knowledge systems was honestly not from books it was from the practices of the rural women see in bharat women have since time immemorial been the keepers of the culture and no one asked them to do this they are never recognized for this we recognize freedom fighters we recognize uh, leaders in history but you never recognize the average indian woman who has held on to these practices and taught this to the future generations so when i would come across practices pertaining to menstruation you know so it's spec- very specific diet a very specific regime and lifestyle i would wonder from where are they learning these things because these were women who had never known any of the texts that we talk of like ayurveda or tantra they've never heard of these things and then there are so many rituals pertaining to menarche and later when i studied the texts i was so stunned because everything that the women did was exactly as was mentioned in the ayurveda text pertaining to rajaswala paricharya so what we know as the highest reality was passed down to the very last man actually woman in this case not through this thing of pandit wise scholarly learning which is what we often misunderstand about this culture but as part of day to day life itself so every aspect of a woman's life especially in rural india reflects those higher teachings they are not merely symbolic it's not just faith and that's how bharat has survived for so many years the women have played a very very important role in that and that's the the part about it that i find stunningly beautiful and different from many many other cultures